My name is Charlotte Roche. I'm the author of Wetlands. And now I'll describe a little bit about the story of Wetlands. So it's about the 18-year-old Helen Meemer. And she lands in hospital right at the beginning of the story because she is shaving her <laughs> around the butthole. And she actually cuts into the... Well, my English isn't that good um, for the special words. I wrote the book in German. So in German it's Rosette. In English it's Rosette. Rosette. The, the foldy little skin round the butt butthole. She cuts into it while she's shaving. And so she gets infected piles and she lands in hospital. So she is in hospital, practically lamed. <laughs> is it lamed? No. Yeah? yeah? Like as if you have no legs? Yeah. yeah. She lies in hospital and then she um, investigates her body. She's very much into masturbating. She loves her menstruation blood. She loves talking about everything people would normally say is a taboo. She's a very open-minded young woman, I would say. I saw uh, lots of advertisement going on on television, but um, I don't know if you know if you're a man. Um, the uh, uh, perfume panty liners, for example, or there's a special soap, they have it in England also, but I know in Germany, it's called like Intima Wash Lotion, and it's for the female genital area, and it's special soap you have to buy to actually get rid of the genital smell, which I would always watch the advertisement and think, am I the only person not using <laughs> this chemical stuff for the vagina? not the panty liners that are perfumed and not the vagina soap and stuff. So I thought, um, this is actually cramping me having sex with my husband when he would I would lie there like this, thinking, oh no, sort of like, does this, is this smell good or bad? I don't know, I can't tell because these advertisements were making me very insecure. Because I thought all the women are using it, not, but not me. And then I had to invent someone in the book that didn't have these problems that I have. And it's for me, um, you know, it's a big misunderstanding that people think that a person who's written a book like that hasn't got any problems with anything, you know. People would imagine me sitting around farting all the time, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would rather die. <laughs> and I'm really um, worried about certain things, going to public toilets and it's sort of, oh, I don't want anybody to smell or, or hear anything I do on the toilet. And I'm really embarrassed and I put it all in the book, it was more like writing my heart out about the embarrassing things I have on my body. In, instead of wanting to shock people and showing how cool I am, not at all. I definitely want it to be funny when I wrote it. Um, I didn't think of a reader or anything. It's the first thing I've ever written. I only wrote it for me in the first term. I thought it has to be honest in my eyes, it has to be funny in my eyes, and it was. I was writing and killing myself laughing, and, but also sort of sitting there thinking, this is going to be released, oh God, I'm going to ruin my life, you know, I'm never ever going to get a job somewhere after this. And um, I, I, you know, I like when people say it's funny. And it often happens that people get very upset and take it very seriously and then they sort of lost it at the beginning to understand that it's funny and it's really exaggerated and people often get very worked up about how disgusting it is and then I would say, okay, come on, come on, tell me, what is so disgusting? Ha ha ha! And they would say, for example, the toilet scene where she wipes the toilet seat with her And I would say, see, that's my favourite funniest scene. So lots of people think my favourite funniest scenes are the most disgusting scenes. And, and also concerning the pornographic aspect, um, I wanted to write an honest book about the female body. You know, it's um, not only having this female sexy presentation aspect of, oh, I'm shaven and I'm clean and look, you can have sex with me, but also it's a sick body, it's a body that has sometimes and it's, that is also a taboo I'm afraid women actually have to sh and that's I wanted to show that in the book and it was great fun having a
female body that is sick and goes to the toilet and has a menstruation and, and all together and not only the clean sexy part but then all the disgusting stuff I also wanted it to be horny at some point I wanted it to be honest and realistic and that's why it's disgusting because somehow we are disgusting but on the other hand I wanted it to be very erotic remember what we expected back then in the beginning of last year and we were my publisher and I thought it was a very difficult book to sell because it's so disgusting so you know we didn't think it was like pornographic literature so everybody would buy it. so we thought it's a difficult thing to advertise for because people maybe wouldn't understand and we thought the first edition was supposed to be 50,000 books. And we were, I remember us being worried not to sell the first pile of books. So that, that shows that we didn't expect the success at all. And it's so much attention, so much really negative, sort of scandalous articles about it, wanting to forbid the book and put me to prison and stuff like that. And, and also really intellectual, wow, feministic manifest, super duper, um, makes, liberates women and stuff. And there's so much attention and always more and more press waves of stuff. And it's, I just can't get my mind around it. It's so big and it's spooky. I, I made that, you know, it's, it's the first thing I've ever written in my life. The first sentence I've ever written is in the book. So, and you just sit there and think, oh, this is really strange. And I think if I try and think about so and so many readers or the attention, then I'll probably go mad.